to your audience. Right? I do as well. I do as well. And, uh, but you would never have heard of either of those bands if it were not for a band called Fishbone. I'll tell you yeah. that. I'll tell you that. It was 19 years ago, like about a week ago, 19 years ago, when a momentous event happened when Fishbone kept Rage Against the Machine in general and myself out of jail for many years. And this is how it happened. There was a, we were, we had an idea, there was a thing called the Parents Music Resource Center, the PMRC, right? It was like the anti, yeah, the anti rock anti-rap organization. And they were determined to censor records. So we, as a fledgling band, the opening band on Lollapalooza in 1993, we were going to make a protest against the PMRC. And we decided to make that protest. We were going to stand butt-ass naked on stage at some huge festival show with duct tape across our mouths and the letters PMRC on our chest and just let the amps feed back and go, what? you got to fight for the music you want, bitches. That was, what we, that was the plan. That was the plan. But plans never really go the way they're supposed to in the world of Rage Against the Machine. Because there was one guy in the band, and he will not be named, but he did not want to do the nude protest because there's a super small peen. Uh, uh, there's no way you'll know. Fortunately, it was not like it was not the time of YouTube and video. No one, no one will know. But anyway, so we argued about this. We're sitting. We're going to do it in New York. No. We're going to do it in Washington D.C. No. Finally, in Philadelphia, we have a knockdown, drag-out fight in the dress room. We have to make a stand against the PMRC. We have to show our true colors and make a stand against censorship. And so we reached a compromise solution. We're going to do the thing. Duct tape on the mouse. PMRC on our chests. But the one band member said, "Is his? He's going to. He's going to." Bust a nut on stage if we do the protest. And we're like, sometimes you're in a band, you gotta make, you gotta make compromise. So we're like, all right, dude, bust a nut on stage if you have to. In Philadelphia, was it JFK or RFK Stadium for the Reds, or it's where the Eagles play, whatever that place is. And now it's called the Dunkin' Donuts Stadium. So anyway, so we're, so we're, so <laughs> the Pampers Stadium, whatever it's called now. But anyway, so we were in that, we were the opening band. Wild Blues was a phenomenon, and the whole, there were. 60,000 people there, and Rage Against the Machine, the hot buzz band of the day, comes out, and we come out, but, God bless his soul, Lane Staley standing inside the stage. They were, Allison James was one of the headlining groups that day, and, and, and Lane, Lane talked to me right before sitting next to one of them before the show starts, and he says, Tom, I've heard you guys are really rocking, I came to see you, and I was like, you're gonna see me, bro. You're gonna see me, you're gonna see all of us in a minute. So we hadn't, we hadn't told anyone in our crew, only the tour manager knew, because he had calculated it was going to be 15 minutes from the time we dropped trousers to the time the police escorted us in the paddy wagon and ended our careers as musicians, right? So, we're, so it comes time to begin the show, and we do the thing, and the duct tape's on, and we stand out there, and we're butt we're like, what? We're raging against the machine, check it out, we're butt-ass thing. People are going crazy. One guy on the end's like... I'm like... I like, that sort of goes, it's sort of a transition somewhere between, it goes from politics to art at that point, but I didn't vote for that, but it's a fan, you make comments along with So but he's unable to sort of get wind, and so he just, he just chills for a minute. So we're like, the first five minutes, we are hardcore militants, and we're like, we are against censorship, and we're naked, and people are going crazy, like, rage is naked, they're, they're fairly fit, and they're naked, and we love it. And then, then the next five minutes, we're like, are you guys gonna play some songs? <laughs> play some songs or something? I mean, the naked shit was good for the first five minutes, but it's, it's ten. Try standing naked in front of a crowd of 60,000 people sometime. Ten minutes is a fucking eternity. Try 15. Okay, the last five minutes, it's a rock. People are throwing quarters at my dick for the last five minutes. They're just. I'm like, oh, this is the price of. The price of protest is a high one. <laughs> Susan B. Anthony sold her dollar, right? <laughs> and, so, and, and so finally, like, the clock finally ticks, the terminator goes, come on, come on. So the police are already there. The police have arrived at 14 minutes, not 15 minutes, so we have to make a mad scramble. So everybody heads off the stage in the correct side, but I'm, I go off the wrong side. So I am a naked black man running around loose behind the scenes at Lollapalooza, ready to be arrested and thrown to Hooskow for the rest of my life. So where do I go? The Fishbone Tour Bus. I just zip my naked ass out of the Fishbone Tour Bus, sit down with a, like 17 other naked brothers, and we all watch Star Wars. The policeman comes out of the bus and goes, 
Everything cool here. And he goes out looking for me somewhere else. And that's why you know about Ricky Dixon Machine and Iron Spider. Thank you, Ricky. Thank you, Ricky. A little bit more time, honestly. This is called, this, uh, thank you very much, it's been a fantastic life. It's called The Road I Must Go. Yeah! This is one of my international smash hits, so clap it Thank <laughs> you. 
you'd like to hear another song. Convince my ass you'd like to hear another song. Cool. worth listening to.
now. So, would you like to hear one more song? We just gotta be in Newport tomorrow at like 3 p.m. So we got some time to play. One more school? Alright. Everybody stay up. Stand the fuck up. I mean, like, it's a nice dinner theater in town, but now, like, let's rock. Everybody up. In the middle there, there's a lot of not up. I see you. Wait, you're up. What are people?